Blood irradiation is a scientific process where already screened blood from a donor is passed through x-rays of a machine with the aim to destroy lymphocytes that can potentially fight the cells in the blood of the receiver. What has been the norm is that normal screening of blood to make sure that it is free from infections that, that can be transmitted through blood transfusion. And that's what we have been doing. What, what this technology is going to do is add that component of making it even more safer so that people don't get reaction after transfusion. The machine can irradiate up to six units of blood in about five minutes and up to 288 units of blood a day. So after I've pressed in my product inside the canister, then I put it inside here. It's locked by it's locked. It doesn't matter where I place it. Even if I want it, I can irradiate it. If I have six units whole, I can irradiate them. So, but of course, Whatever you put in here, it is radiated for 280 seconds. So that is 4.7 minutes. Blood transfusion is a life-saving procedure for many people who are bleeding and people who cannot make a sufficient amount of blood on their own. However, these patients' bodies usually require irradiated blood to arrest any crossing lymphocytes. As we use this, and people also get to know, because many healthcare workers may not be... I uh, don't know uh, this risk of blood transfusion because we give blood transfusion so often people, many health care workers don't know. In the past they also didn't have the possibility to irradiate blood products for those select category of patients that need it. Previously, getting similar services required traveling to India and South Africa. Most patients in Uganda that undergo transfusion are given blood that bypasses this stage. The Joint Clinical Research Center has procured this machine ahead of the bone marrow transplanting service they will be taking on in the near future. Wadulo Makanold, UBC News, in Luboa.